Well, hello there. You're watching the official Theme Park Fans YouTube channel, and welcome back to another video. So, as you can see by the video title, I'm going to be talking about Scarefest 2019 and what to expect. Now, um, before I start this video, um, I just want to say something about uh, what happened at like Water Valley. Um, a boy fell out of a ride at like Water Valley. Um, I can't. Um, I don't know what the name of the ride is, but um, honestly, uh, there are more important things than a name of a ride. Um, I just hope the boy is okay. Um, he is in a critical condition. Uh, my thoughts are with his family, his friends. Um, it must be a really hard thing to go through for anyone. So, um, my, my, once again, my thoughts are with the boy and his family. And, um, and just to reassure you guys, theme parks are safe, you know. These accidents, then usually uh, freak accidents. Um, but obviously, at this at this moment in time, we can't really say how it happened. Um, that's for the health and safety executive to decide. So, yeah. So, once again, I just hope the boy is okay. Um, um, it's sad that he's in a critical condition, but that's... All I can say about it, really. Anyway, on to the video now. So, um, Scarefest is... One, two, three... It, Scarefest is four months away. <laughs> can, can you believe it? So, uh, I had this idea that I wanted to do this video. And, um, yeah, let's get started, shall we? So, the first scare maze I'm going to be talking about is Project 42. Now, I think we can expect Project 42 to come back. Um, because since Alton Towers reopened for the 2019 season, uh, the theming and the scaffolding is still there um, on the old site of Nemesis of Terror. So I think Project 42 will come back for Scarefest 2019. And um, I l last year, um, I did enjoy Project 42, but I think it has more potential to be even better. Um, even scarier than what it was. It, it does have potential, I think. I think I think Project 42 has potential to be even more intense. So, hopefully, Project 42 um, is better than last year. And um, hopefully, the scare acts can uh, ramp up their scares even more and make it a really horrifying experience. So, hopefully, Project 42... Is better than what it was last year. So, I think the first maze that we can expect for uh, Scarefest 20, uh, 2019 is Project 42. And the next maze I am going to be talking about is the House of Monsters. Now, I think once again we can expect the House of Monsters to come back um, because I think the theming for House of Monsters is still down the outside. Um, so, I think that is returning. Um, I think you you guys know my thoughts about House of Monsters. It's more suited for families. Um, it's not scary. I mean, you do have those um, scare jump moments, you know, where an actor comes out from nowhere, but nothing too extreme, you know, because, you know, they need to keep House of Monsters family-friendly and for the children, of course. Um, but but it's, it's a good maze, you know, if you're starting... Um, if you want to start your children out on scare mazes, then House of Monsters... It's a good family way. So I think that will come back for Scarefest 2019. So the next uh, scare maze I am going to be talking about is um, The Welcoming. Now, um, I am not entirely sure if The Welcoming will be coming back for Scarefest 2019. Because at this moment in time, we haven't seen uh, construction in the Mutant Bay Courtyard. Because that's where The Welcoming is. Is um, located. It's in the Mutiny Bay Courtyard. So I don't know whether the welcoming will be coming back or not. Um, they used it in 2017 before Wicker Man opened. So you know it was themed around Wicker Man, and then ob obviously it came back for 2018. So whether it comes back for this year, I am not entirely sure. Like n no construction has started yet. So I don't think it will come back but on my future visits to Alton Towers for this year I uh, mainly mainly this summer so um, this month 
July, August, even leading up to September. Um, if I do see anything, then I'll put it in a Alton Towers vlog for you guys to see. So I will keep an eye out for anything that uh, might be happening for the welcoming. So the next game is I am going to talk about is the Alton Vale Mantles. Now, um, I think it will come back. Um, but again, I haven't seen any maze construction yet. I know it is earlier, like I said at the start of this video. Um, it's four months until Scarefest. Um, and um, this will be Autumnville's fourth Scarefest. So I, I think it will come back. I think it has a good chance of coming back. Um, I didn't enjoy it last year that much. I mean, it was a good maze. It was a good maze, but... I didn't enjoy it as much as when it first opened in 2016 um, because one of the run-throughs I had in Autumnville Mind Tours for 2016 <laughs> it was mental, absolutely mental because um, this run-through that I had in Autumnville Mind Tours um, the actors really ramped it up and it was really really good so again I think Autumnville Mind Tours will come back for Scarefest this year um, but again, we'll just have to wait and see for an official announcement for Morton Towers. So the last and final scare maze I am going to be talking about is Subspecies The End Games. Now this is definitely going to be coming back for Scarefest um, 2019 because the um, shipping containers are already outside the towers. You know, that path um, which goes from X sector going up towards um, like the archway. Of the towers you know where you can go straight on and go down that other path for 13 or turn right for hex and you know cloud cooker land and the other way to get it like the main way to get into dark forest um the shipping containers are back there so um subspecies will be returning for its fifth scare fest and um to be honest guys i think this could be subspecies last um scare fest you know it's going into its fifth scare fest and um as as much as I like subspecies, I love subspecies. Um I just I just can't see it coming back for Scarefest twenty twenty. Who knows? I might be wrong. Um but that's just my personal opinion. Um and I think if, if this was subspecies last year, um last Scarefest, then I would love it to go out with a bang. And by doing that, how many actors um, be intense as they were when it first opened in 2015? So, like, because for any, because for any of you who did subspecies in 2015, you will know what I'm on about. Um, it was really intense. The actors always got into your face and they were pulling you. Like, it was just really good in its first year. And I felt like ever since its debut, Scarefest. Um, I just feel like it, it hasn't gone downhill, but I feel like the scares have decreased in some way. But but it is still a good maze, and I really enjoy that element of going through a scare maze on your own. Um, a free flow scare maze, as they call it. Um, because I don't really like the traditional hands on shoulders um, scare maze. Because like, sometimes, if you're not leading a group, that person can be really fast, and you have to like, Grab the person's shoulders in front of you really tightly so that you stay with your group. So I definitely prefer that element of a free flow maze. So subspecies, Project 42 and the House of Monsters should be returning for this year's Scarefest. And as for the welcoming and ultimate mantles, I am not too sure about those, but they should be returning. Um and also I'm gonna talk about one more thing. Um would I like to see new additions for Scarefest 2019? I would like to see... I would like to see at least a Scare Zone added in. Like, it'd be really good to bring back one of the Scare Zones for this year. Uh, maybe Dark Apocalypse. Um, that was really good because you had so many actors out there with chainsaws and that was really fun. Um, so yeah, po probably bring back at least one Scare Zone. One scare zone would be really good because the scare mazes you usually have to pay for those, and it, uh, I guess that will be the case again for this year's event. 
So having at least one free scare zone would be really good for everyone. So everyone can take like part in something that's um, scare related. So that is it guys for another video. Um, are you excited for Scarefest 2019? Despite the fact that it's four months away. Do comment below. <laughs> I know it, it's four months away. But usually at this time of year we're starting to get a bit more you know, information about what's coming. So there we go. So just before I go guys. Um, I've got a new show coming to this channel. And um, it's going to be called Throw back towers now this new show it will be on a thursday you know throw back thursday throw back towers you get it <laughs> um it's going to be on at 6 p.m like this video is going up at 6 p.m on tuesday and i'm going to try and start that next thursday um so let me have a look at the calendar next thursday so thursday the 13th i think or if not, then definitely, it'll either be Thursday the 13th or Thursday the 20th. And and in, and in Throwback Towers, I'm going to be talking about my Alter Towers memories as a child growing up. Initially, I am going to start off with three episodes. And then I want to see what you guys think of it. So, three episodes to start off with initially and then... We'll see where it goes from there. I mean, it, it could be... It, this show could just be three episodes long. But, again, that's where your feedback will come in for the show. So, yeah. Um, that is it. <laughs> um, be sure to subscribe if you're new around here. Because we are so close to a 1,000 subscribers. I think... I think I'm about 20 away or something like that. Um, so please hit that subscribe button if you're new around here because it would mean the world to me And I do really want to see this channel get to a thousand subscribers That would be a huge honor for me um, Ever since I started this channel in May 2014 uh, Don't forget to check out our Facebook page as always our Facebook page link is in the description below So go and check that out and give it a like uh, Don't forget to give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and that's about it I'm Will Donio. Thank you for watching, theme park fans. Let's have to close the video now. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.